Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the Seal Mall type run of EV Emeralds. Last time, we beat our dad, got the 5th gym badge, and surf. But now we have a new objective. And an issue. What do you think's missing here? That's right! Mr. Brian's retired. That means we gotta go swimming if we wanna get across water now. So, give me a second, and we will jump to where we need to go. So now we're back here. We're gonna use this to get to Mauville via shortcuts. Because there's a little bit of a crisis going on. We'll be back to battle those two later. On the way, we pick up an item that we couldn't access any... Well, earlier. And, uh, should be up here somewhere. Oh yeah, that's the other thing that's going to be happening a lot. We're going to encounter a lot of Tentacool. They're the Zubat of the seas. In fact, you know what? Because otherwise we're going to encounter several of them. But yeah, we got a rare candy. Good shit. See you in Mauville. And now we've arrived in Mauville City. Where we find Watson out in the middle of the street. Hey, old man. You still salty about losing? Oh. An out-of-control generator, you say, huh? Hmm. I think I've seen a couple of documentaries about this kind of thing. Not sure if I'm qualified for it. But, I guess I do owe you for humiliating you, so... Whatevs. So to get to New Mauville, you want to surf from over here, thereabouts. Oh, before that, let's take a look at this. Just thought it was kind of cute. Okay, so now we keep going. And here is the entrance to New Mauville. So New Mauville in the original Gen 3 games was actually a proper dungeon. A small one, but a dungeon. Whereas in the remakes, they reduced it down to a couple of rooms. Why? Simple. The devs were lazy. And yes, that really is basically it. I used to work in the industry. I know how it is. But that isn't the only thing we're doing here. We're also here to catch ourselves... Some Magnemite. We're going to catch multiple Magnemite. In fact, we're going to use multiple Magnemite. We're going to evolve one of them into Magneton. Okay. Yeah. Or maybe we'll only use one. I'm not sure. But the reason is because, well, otherwise we're only going to have five Pokemon by the end, because, well... I still have yet to figure out where you can get access to the pre-Gen 3 Steel types. Besides Magnemite and Magneton. I might just stick to 5. Just so I have room for an HM Slave. Which means 4 for now, but whatever. Okay. There's an Ultra Ball. And that way goes back to the entrance. Uh, I was going to turn back around, but I guess not now. Alright. We'll be catching some Magnemite. Really, Laron? NOW OF ALL TIMES YOU CRIT! <sighs> Fuck you, dude. Okay, this time, don't crit, you idiot! There we go, that's more like it.
I should also note that I wouldn't be able to retreat from this anyway, because it probably has Magnet Poles and Ability. Now, there's also a chance you can find Wild Magneton in here. They're rare, but you can find them. And as I noted earlier, the lowest level you can find a Magneton at is level 26. So, once again, Watson is a filthy cheater. And, uh, well, I'm not going to nickname any of them yet until I know which ones I'm going to use. I don't know how many I'm going to catch. I might go until I have, like... Well, I'll oh, fuck off. I might go until I have, like, seven of them, which is how many Auron I caught before I decide which one I wanted to use. Alright. Now we open that up. Oh yeah, there's these things too. Certain Pokeballs in here are in fact Dormant Voltorb. And this isn't the only time you see this sort of thing in the game, although later on it's Electrode. Don't want to catch it. Nah. Now, the nice thing is, because, of course, these are fixed encounters, in theory, these are pretty easy to shiny hunt, if you had the patience. It still takes a very long time, but you can do it. Nope. Why is check tag the default? It shouldn't be, that's stupid. Heal real quick. Might as well put all those potions I picked up earlier in the game to use anyway. No, that's not what I want to find right now, dude. Go away! Oh, fuck off. Yeah, leave me with a little parting gift, why don't you? And actually now, well, now I think about it, pick up all those Petra Berries might be, might be useful later on, because I might be beating all the contests. Let's see... Note that it, note that I pre-recorded all of these a while before they actually air, so uh, I don't know what my sub count will be when this actually goes live. Presently, I think it's at three on YouTube. Okay, that's done. Moving on. There's another Magnemite. This one. In you go. That's two. And since this segment's getting rather long, we are just gonna cut at this point right here. Moving on. Here we have another trap ball.
Oh, fuck off. Fuck you, dude! Yeah, eat shit and die, Voltorb. Because you don't have the decency to blow yourself up. Actually, I don't think it can even- I don't think it even know self-destruct at this level. There we go. You're topped up, and that's the last of the old potions. There's another full heal. That's always useful. This should be Magnemite number three. Down you go. We're almost to the end of this. And here we are in the generator room. So, what's the status of this machine? Hmm. Hmm. Not great. Not terrible. Before we do that, let's uh, grab this Thunderstone. It's the only one in the overworld that I'm aware of. For this, if you want to get more, you gotta trade yellow shards to the guy on. I, it's one of the water routes. There's too many of them in this game. Can't remember them all. So, this button right here turns off the generator. Permanently. Now, we could just go back right now and collect our award, but we're not going to. We got some more Magnemite to capture. Here's Magnemite number four. And Magnemite number five. Number six. Now, I said I was going to go for seven. You know what? I'm going to go until I have twelve. Just for variety's sake. And I totally didn't just say that because it would be easier for me to keep track of because I had 22 Great Balls to start with. So, when I'm down to 10, I know I've got 12. It's easier to do the math in my head. Here should be number... 8, I think? Or, no, I think this is 7. There we go. Okay, this should be number eight. You go through a lot of healing items farming for Pokemon in here. Just because you keep getting paralyzed. Switched off to Matang now. And we're on to number nine. 
There were actually a bunch more before this, but, well, Matang kept knocking them out! Here should be number 10. Oh, wait, no, this is 11. I lost count. All right, last one. And there you go. I think we are done here. So now we are going to cut ahead to Marvel's. On our way back, we encounter the toilet bird. You can consider yourself flushed. Next up, we talk to Watson, let him know everything's taken care of. And as a reward, we get the TM for Thunderbolts. And this right here is the, the Magnemite we're going to be using. Modest Nature, boost special attack. Lore's regular attack. This is exactly what we want. So, let's get it out of the PC box, shall we? Now, I will see you all again back in Slateport. Now it comes time to bestow a nickname upon it. Damn, it doesn't fit. But, seriously, like I could call it anything other than Electric Eye after the, after the Juice Priest song. Because that's what it is! It's a floating electric eye! Anyway, that'll wrap it up for now. Next time, we're going to be doing some backtracking. Exploring places we've already been in more detail now that we have access to Surf. Like what you see, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will see you all next time.